boys and girls. Today we are going to make a billy goat wrap. The story of billy goat gruffs, they had to cross a bridge. Well, another way they could have crossed the river was by a raft. And today we are going to make a raft. What you'll need is some twigs, about 10 or 11, all about the same size, and then two shorter ones. And some yarn, some string, some twine, even rubber bands will work. First thing we're going to do is tie a knot around our, we're going to wrap it around and tie a knot on our first one. And this is our anchor one. Make sure it's a secure knot because you don't want it coming untied when you're trying to float across the river. There we go, nice tie. And then each one you are going to wrap around it. Grab another one, wrap around it. Grab another one, wrap around it. And we're going to do this to every one of them when we get to the end. Grab it, wrap around. You want them close. You don't want them on top of each other, but you don't want them spaced apart either. And for little hands, you might need a little help because you're, you're, when you get to number eight or nine, it's going to be kind of stretching your little hands. So you might need a little help with somebody holding them for you. Of course, it might be easier to do it on the table too, but I'm showing you standing up. Wrap it around. And here's our last one. Now our last one, we are going to wrap it around twice. And then we are going to tie a knot in the space between the two. There's our knot. Tie it. And we want to make it a secure knot, so we'll tie it, not just tie it once, we need to tie it twice to make the knot secure. And if you don't know how to make a knot, have somebody else help you. Most kids, they know how to make knots before they can make a bow, so. <laughs> Alright, now we have the one side of our wrapped. Now we're going to flip it over and we're going to tie it, securely tie it on the end one and then we're going to wrap it around and wrap it around the next and see how we can do it laying down. It's a little bit easier. Just make sure you wrap it around all the way around. Wrap it around and the next one and the next one and the next one and the next one, then, oh, we almost missed one there. And then here's our last one, and we're going to wrap it around twice, and then tie our knot. Now my yarn's a little bit big for a knot, so we're going to cut that there. We want to make a secure knot because we don't want our, all that hard work or sticks to come apart. All right, now we have our raft. Now, to secure our raft, we put this extra bar on the bottom to keep it flat. All right, we secured this one. Now we're going to lay this one on top. We stuck the yarn underneath the first one, set our bar across, and we're going to crisscross it and then tie it that way. Oops. And it'll wiggle all over the place. But tie a knot, make sure it's secure, and you can always trim your yarn or your string afterwards. And then we need to get this one, the end one, and we need to crisscross it. And then securely tie it. Nope. Oh, my fingers thumbs again. Now we got them tied at both ends, tops and bottoms. We got these extra strings, so we can cut those extra strings off.
and you have your two salads, and then here's your raft. I hope you have fun making this, and don't forget to pick up your kit.